all. You know everything, don't you? You want some, eh? Ah, oh, you're greedy little beggar. Well, I've got to peel it first, haven't I? Oh! What was that? That noise? Did you hear it too, Mr. Perry? It sounded as though it came from the library. Mrs. Harris. Yes, sir? That young woman with Mr. Norman, has she gone yet? I'm not sure, sir. Really? Who's that a shot? I don't know. Better go in. Oh! He's killed himself. Mr. Norman! Oh, Mr. Norman! Why should he do that? I don't understand. So he's standing here, we better do something. Yes. This is a matter for the police. Oh, come on. Come on. I, you mustn't cry. I want my mummy. Well, we're going to find her for you, Tommy. My name isn't Tommy. Well, what is it? Billy. Oh, Billy. Look at your nose. No, 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 no. Blow. Oh, better than that. Come on. Uh... Better? Yeah, I want my mommy. Well, she'll be here soon. But when? I want her now. Here, oh, Jimmy, look. Uh, see, hand. Take him away! Jimmy, look. Here, here. How about one of those? Huh? What? Which one, that? This one? That's big chocolate. Open them. No, come on, wider. Yeah. How's that? Hello? Oh, oh, yes, put her through. From the superintendent, what? sir. Oh, yes, madam. Yes, <laughs> that's all right. He's here. Yes, yes. Mommy. Excuse you left me, him in jail with him. Oh, yes. What's that? What? Oh, Robert mommy. Norman? Why didn't you tell me, Mick? Oh, you were busy, sir. Never mind. Hello. Oh, oh, come on. You. Hello. Will you be right along, madam? <laughs> yes, all right. Hey, goodbye. Come on, you. Yeah. Get. I'm not a family man. Well, give it to Joan. He's not to be long in a minute. I want you with me. Of course you will. Murder, eh? That's the word Inspector Winton used. Well, he's got a real case at last. And he deserves it. French windows, were they open? Yes, I noticed that at once. Someone might have gone out a moment or two before we came in. Didn't go to the windows or out into the garden? I was thinking about poor Robert. Why did you think someone might have gone out through the window? I don't know what I thought. It's difficult to keep your head when you're faced with the death of a friend. Um, you're a writer, I understand. Accustomed to clear thinking? I don't see the connection. Uh, never mind. Pardon, sir? Yes. No sign of a gun or any footprints. The ground's very hard. Take a look at the towpath. Yes, sir. Look here. Yes? What about that girl? Mrs. Harris says she was with Robert. She didn't see her go. Nobody saw her go. Yes, yes, sir. I'm dealing with it. Huh? Oh. I thought, sir, you would like a cup of tea. You see, the poor master always used to have his about this time. That'll be very nice. Oh, Mrs. Hare, just a moment. Fair in. Yes. That will be all. Thank you. For the moment. I'll do anything I can to help you. Well. You remember that young lady's name? I have been trying, sir. I promise you. You see, my memory is so bad for names. But you're sure you never saw her here before? Oh, positive, sir. Faces 
I do remember. Well, let's go over what happened when she arrived. Did she knock or ring? She knocked. No, she rang. I came up from the kitchen and opened the door, and there she was. Pretty young lady, I said. And she marched in. Oh, not rude, you understand, but like one who gets her own way. And then she told you her name? No, sir. She said she had an appointment with Mr. Norman, and then she... Well? She gave me her card. Mac, have you seen a card anywhere? No, sir. Oh, Mr. Norman was busy writing, so I read the name out to him. Well, the card, what did you do with it? Take it out with me. Oh, of course. That's what I did, sir. Yes, well, will you do me a great favor? Yes, sir. Will you please, before you do anything else, look for that card? Yes, sir. And, and bring it to me? At once. Well, sir, what do you make of it? Oh, I wish I knew what you know. Any possibility of suicide? No. No, the shot was fired from some distance. No sign of powder burns on the clothes. It's murder, all right. The friends of his both tell the same kind of story about where they were when the shot was fired. But just at that moment, they weren't together. You mean that either one of them could have come in through the door and out by the window without the other one knowing? Mm. Oh, had you thought, sir? What? They might have worked this murder between them. No, no. When two men commit a crime together, the first thing they do is alibi one another. Well, they haven't done that. Well, Mac, where's the motive? Oh, he's real detective. The light's me. Better put him in your next book. I don't write comedy. By the way, did you tell him about the fact? No. Do you think we should have? What could that have to do with Robert's murder? I don't know exactly. Only, you know, we're likely to be suspected. Oh, that's ridiculous. At least as far as I can. Something suspicious, sir? Everything's suspicious. That's right, sir. I want this open. Find out who Norman's lawyer was. I want him here. If he doesn't know the combination, get a man to blow it open. Yes, sir. Come in. Found it, sir. Oh, good, I hope you would. I'd put it on the dresser. Well, thanks for the tea, Mrs. Yes. Not at all, sir. Who is she, sir? Newspaper. Get hold of her, Mac. Right, sir. And we don't want a whole pack of reporters on us, so use tact. Mm, tact, the word, sir. Oh, Mrs. Harris. Yes, sir? Just one more question. Uh, Mr. Norman, was he married? Yes, sir. But his wife died 20 years ago. Very sad it was, sir, and very sudden. What about you? Any children? No, sir. Uh, there was a boy. What happened to him? He's dead. Oh, hello, hello, hello. I want the evening to say... Oh, that is the evening gazette. <laughs> I thought we were cut off. Well, I want to speak to Miss Clear here. Sorry, she went out dreaming of the girl. On a job. Well, uh, c c can you tell me where I can find her? Thanks. I'm very sorry, sir. But I'm so nervous. Don't worry, there's a policeman outside. You're quite safe. Well, sir, if I should be wanted, I'll be in my kitchen. What'd you find out there? Sir, she's at the Regal Film Studios, Wembley. Must be getting some copy of something. Do my hat. Get hat. I'll get it for you, sir. Gentlemen, I'm afraid I must ask you to remain in the house for the time being. Oh, Inspector. Yes, I have an appointment for dinner. Do you mind if I keep that? Well, I'll let you know later. Your hat, sir. Will I get a hold of the fingerprints? Huh? They might both be wanted men. Might they? No. When the lawyer comes asking to wait for me, and don't open that safe until I get back. If you want me, find me at the film studio. Yes. Fred won't help you. You're very sure of yourself. Suppose I were to tell the police where they could find the certain Mr. Henderson. All right, go ahead and tell them. See where it gets. Okay, we'll take it. Come on, Fred, follow them up. Yes, sir. How's up the sound? Okay. Hello, Miss Haynes, how are you? Hello, you don't mind my being here. Stay as long as you want. What a shooting. Oh, just a thriller. Come on, boys, come on. Hurry up, hurry up now. 
The one that just came in. All right, let's go. Come on, hurry up now. Turns half past four. Haven't we better break? For what for? Tea. Oh, my goodness, tea. Well, come on, boys. Fifteen minutes. And hurry back. Oh, I'm so sorry. All right, fifteen all right. minutes break for tea, Bob. Crime stuff's so interesting, don't you think? Well, well, it depends how you look at it. You playing a part in this? Uh, no, no, not, not in this one. I wonder if I could have a word with you. Sorry, I'm honest to a story. Oh, so am I. Did you call Mr. Norman this afternoon? Hey, it's my business. It happens to be my business, too. What? My name is Wyndham. Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought we were just a ham act to try and get publicity. What did you see Mr. Norman about? Well, I heard he bought control of this studio, and I want to be the first with the story. Did anyone see you leave? I don't know. I went out by the garden. Why? Norman said it was crooked. Wait a minute. What's all this about? I'm not going to answer any more questions. Afraid you'll have to, now or later. What do you mean? Mr. Norman was murdered just after you left the house. What? You don't suspect me, do you? Well, I, I thought you might be able to throw some light on the matter. It was perfectly all right when I left him. I didn't see anything or hear anything. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yes. The telephone operator has a private message for you. All right. Well, thank you very much. I'm sorry to interrupt you on your job. Hmm, writing film notes is much of a job. Where are you going to now? Get on with mine. I'm coming too. I'm a journalist. Oh, no. Sorry. Please. Sorry. You stay with your film notes. Why? Hi. Listen to your telephone. Well, this one over there, Liz. Thanks. You got a message for me? Yes. Uh, Mr. Mackay telephoned to say that Mr. Norman's lawyer had arrived. Thanks. Is that you, Mr. Gregory? I've got a scoop. Shall I give it to you? Can I stay on the story? What sort of a story? Murder. A nice new murder. No one's heard of yet. I'll decide that. Who's been murdered? Do I stay on the story? Now look here, Miss Hing. You've had no experience of crime reporting. I'll give you Hibbert's on the line. He can handle it. I want the assignment. I've always wanted to be a crime reporter. If you don't do a shot told, I'll fire you. You won't. I'll fire myself and go straight to the Evening Globe. All right. Give me the dope. You'll never regret it. Here it is. Unknown hand. Slays Robert Norman. Mystery at River House. Police. Thief must have cost a bony penny. I'm sorry, Mr. Dickens, you didn't know the combination. Oh, Norman never told me anything. No method. I don't say he wouldn't trust me, but he's just the sort of man who had to do things his own way. Tell me, yes. had he any enemies? As I ever heard of. He was a very much like me. Financial affairs, in order? Perfect. Made a fortune in the last five years. These two friends of his are staying in the house. Yes. Perrin and Saunders. Do you know anything about them? Nothing. Except. Norman had known them for some years and had some kind of pact with them. Pact? Yes. Uh, what sort of pact? Well, you can't call it a financial one exactly. But money was the base of it. Yes. You see, about five years ago, Norman gave his four best friends some very bad advice. And they lost their money in some dud company. Norman lost his, too. Poor oh, friends. Uh, Gosling. Well, they pooled what was left. And by this bet, they agreed to share out equally, five years later, anything they might have made in that time. Then in that case, the share out would be almost due. Mm, well, I don't know the details. All that Norman did was to give me a sealed copy of the agreement to look after. It's lying in my office now. Hmm, that's very interesting. Do you know anything about the, uh, either of the other two men in the agreement? Well, that man called Greg. Greg? Yes, Norman had a good deal of difficulty with him. Oh, in what way? Oh, the usual thing, money. Started by asking for hundreds and ended by asking for thousands. On the strength of what would be due to him under the pact? Yes. And no one got sick with him and wouldn't give him any more. When was this? Oh, quite recently. Hey, wait a minute. That's not for you. That's for Mr. Robert Norman. All right, thank you. Just the same. Shall I wait for an answer? There won't be no answer. So, oh, I'll take that. It may be important. Go straight to the inspector. You're just with what are you? Wait and see me inside. I'll see you get to it once. Yes. 
Yes, yes, miss, but, but, uh... Oh, hello. Here I am again. Greg wouldn't have to wait long for his share. But that was Norman's point in refusing to hand out any more. Do you think that's suspicious? Well, it might be, uh, linked with other things. It won't be long now, sir. I'd like to have a little word with you. Alone. Alone? There's only the kitchen. Let a little while. Better give this to the inspector. Put the stuff out on the desk where we can see it. We can take it to the office later. Yes? Telegram from Mr. Norman. All right, Mrs. Harris. Dickinson. Yes? Does the name Jerome convey anything to you? Jerome? Yes. Can't say it does. If you wait here for me, I shall be a moment, then we'll go along to your office. I want to get the document to that pack. Right. Why didn't you tell me about this pack? Yes, of course, pack. Oh, see any particular connection? That's for me to decide. We weren't trying to withhold information, Inspector. And everything I can learn now is of importance in solving this crime. Yes, of course. The agreement was between five of you. Norman, you and two others. Who are they? Well, I never liked the idea of the pack. Why? Because I make enough money as it is. Besides, I don't want to profit from another man's efforts. Your personal feelings don't affect the situation. A very rich man has been murdered. According to this agreement, you all share his estate. Yes. Saunders, why did you ever make this pack? Well, we were all five of us broke to the wire. And this agreement gave us a sort of sentimental impetus to make a success. You know, for one for all and all for one. Mr. Norman was more successful than the rest of us. One doesn't. Who are the other two? William Gray and Alfred Jerome. Where are they? Well, Greg arrived this morning, but he went away. And Jerome? Oh, I saw him in Bond Street last night. Well, he's an detective. I shouted to him, but he didn't hear me. Perhaps this is the reason why. Jerome arrived at Liverpool this morning. He'll be here tonight. But I was absolutely sure. Yes, but remember, you haven't seen him for five years. When does this pact expire? Tomorrow, midnight. Have you back with me? Oh, well, Inspector. Yes? Will it be all right if I go out now? On the whole, I think it would be better if you didn't. Didn't do ourselves any good holding up the pact on you. Just a few moments. Right. Going on to the yard after I've been to his yes, office. Sir. If Mr. Greg or Mr. Jerome arrive, keep an eye on them. Yes. Ready? Right now. Oh, well, nowadays no one knows what's going to happen. Tell Mrs. Harris, yes? How long ago did Mrs. Norman die? Twenty years ago. And Mr. Norman worshipped the ground she walked on. The boy, she was spared that trouble, poor thing. So they had a son. Oh, yes, miss. What happened to him? Trouble about money. Mr. Norman sent him abroad. Can you still hear from him, of course? No, miss. Will you see him? They... That is... Uh, Master Philip Daisley. I'm afraid you can't go in, sir. Well, why not? Mr. Norman's expecting you. Sorry. Poor old gentleman's been murdered. What? Uh-huh. Uh, my name's Gray. Oh, yes. Come in. Mr. Gray, eh? Yes. Is it true, my friend, Mr. Norman's been murdered? Aye, and a very mysterious business. But I've got the case well in hand, though. The parents, Saunders, are they here? Aye, they're in the living room. I'd, uh, I'd like to have a word with them. It'll be all right. Thanks. Oh, uh, 
Well, Mrs. Harris, are you there? Yes, Sergeant. How about a cup of tea? Certainly, Sergeant. I bring you one. Could I have another one? Of course, my dear. Who's that you've got down there? Perhaps you oughtn't to be here. I'd better go up. Perhaps it will be as well. Whoever you are, if you don't come up, I'll come down and get you. All right, Sergeant. All right. What are you doing here? I'm a journalist. Oh, you are, are you? Well, this way. Yes. Oh, but Sergeant. Uh, no. Haven't you a daughter of your own? No, I haven't one, so it isn't likely. Strict rules, miss. Sergeant. No reporters until we're ready for them. No, 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 no. Stay up. Oh, you monster. I come off next. Is that an important appointment you had for dinner? Yes. An editor I do a lot of work for. The way that inspector's behaving, you'd think he'd got something against me. Well, he has a job to do. What I need is a drink. Oh, I'll join you in a minute. All right. Hello, Hubert. I hope I'm not disturbing you. No, no. It's quite all right. I was, uh, I was looking for something. Where are you now? What? Well, I... Oh, nothing particular. Doesn't seem exactly regular going through Robert's papers. Murder doesn't seem regular either. Hello, Wayne. Oh, what's the matter? Caught our friend going through Robert's desk. As a matter of fact, I was looking for a couple of letters of mine. Incriminating letters? At least I think so. Actually, don't you think you'd better explain? I don't want to be suspected of murder. What were the letters about? Well, I... Wait a minute. You see, I tried to borrow a little money on my prospect. Under our agreement? Yes, but you must. There's nothing suspicious in that, is there? That depends on how you asked for it. I'm in a mess, and the only thing that can help me is money and loss. Nothing new in that, is there? No, but the police might think that I... Oh, <laughs> here you are. Anything the matter? No. Oh, Mr. Gray. Yes? Uh, you'll be staying here? I was just going. Oh, but the inspector will want to never talk with you. Oh, he can get me whenever he wants me. I'm living at Branksome Gardens. Just around the corner. Oh, but, Mr. Gray, please, I have my orders. Uh, Mr. Winton will expect you to be here when he comes back. My dear fellow, you can't keep me here. I've told you where you can find me. Yeah. What number, Branksome Gardens? 27. Wait. What do you make of all that? Greg's a queer fish, always has been. What about that drink? You put that in your report? Of course. No, oh, yes. Well, what do you want us to do? Well, if you could ask Liverpool to check up on Jerome's landing and go over the passenger list of ships docking this morning. Right. Anything else? A complete dossier of the five mentioned in that agreement would help a lot. I'll let you have anything we've got. Norman, straight enough? Oh, yes, yeah, of course. Henry Saunders, Hubert Ellis, William Gray. There are your five. Those last two I haven't contacted yet. But they're both likely to turn up at the house today. Do you think the existence of this pact would provide you with a motive? I'm almost certain. But I can't see why four men should kill one. I mean, his share wouldn't benefit them enough to make murder worthwhile. Well, that's sound enough. There's only one thing that's turned up that might provide a motive. Yes, this man Greg. He's been trying to borrow money from Norman for some time. And Norman? He gave it to him? He began to and then closed down on him. Hmm. Great might have quarreled with him and killed him. Yes. 
No, it's too early yet to decide on a motive. We haven't got enough to go on. This man, Giroux. All I know about him is his telegram, which he apparently sent from Liverpool. Why apparently? Sit down, Wendell. Let's review everything you've got so far. I'm going along to check up that man, Greg. If anybody wants me, I'll be at 27 Branksome Gardens. All right, Sergeant. And don't let anyone leave the house. I won't be gone ten minutes. Right. Well, taxi! Oh, Mac! Yes? Why should the Gazette have an exclusive? I don't know. Uh, is Winston going to make an arrest? I don't know. Where is Winston? I don't know. Well, tell me. Tell me. Murdered? When? About half past two this afternoon, sir. Do you like to carry Mr. Saunders in here? Yes, sir. You are the Mr. Jerome who sent the gun? Yes, sir. Why can't they open this door? Why, Mr. Jerome? Sorry, sir. I guess I recognized you. It's so long since... Jerome! Thank heavens you've come. Where's Perrin? In the library. Jerome's here. Hello, you were started. What a ghastly business this is. When did you two arrive? Why, were you here when Robert was killed? Yes. Uh, Greg, is he here too? Been and gone. What's the matter, Alfred? We're all in danger. What? Danger? Yes, they're not going to be content with killing Robert. They're after us too. What are you talking about? Some swine took a pot shot at me this morning. Oh, chuck it. We've had a bad day ourselves. You don't believe me. I'm telling you the truth. Look at this. It just grazed me. Another couple of inches and the bullet would have finished me. I don't see what that's got to do with Robert's murder. Not I. Oh, the trouble with you fellas is you won't face the facts. Facts? What facts? Why? Wow. It's all very well. You fellas haven't been shot at. I can't stand this. I'm getting the chitters myself. I want Inspector Winton. But I've been on to Hammersmith Police Station. They told me he was at Scotland Yard with Superintendent Fields. You're sure you can manage this by yourself? It's my first big chance and I'm going to make a go of it. Hello? Yes. Hello? Who? Oh, don't say you've forgotten me already. Claire Haynes. Oh, it's you. Well, I haven't got a statement for the press. But I've got one for the police. You want it? Oh, all right, let's have it. It's that nosy woman journalist. Well... You ever heard of a man called Jerome? I have. And now, tell me, that Jerome landed at Liverpool this morning and is expected at River House sometime today. Well, you're old-fashioned, not date and behind the times. Mr. Jerome's already arrived in the next room with your two favorite suspects. Is there anything I can do? Yes, you can keep out of this and get me Sergeant Mackay at once. Oh, there's no sign of any policeman around here. Hello. Hello. What is it? Jerome arrived at Mackay phone. Say I'm on my way. And you don't know what it feels like. It's taking a bullet in your back any minute. I'm frightened. I don't mind admitting it. Easy, Alfred. Easy. All right, now, did you see the man who shot you? No. Oh. Oh, well, there you are, Mr. Jerome. Who's that? What are you doing here? Why oh, isn't Mr. Norman just before he was killed? I'm suspected too. What? Did you did you see the man who was with Norman? I saw no one. Certain? What's the matter, Mr. Jerome? I tell you, we're going to be wiped out before tomorrow midnight, unless his murderer's caught. What's tomorrow midnight got to do with it? Our agreement. Well, it ceased to be enforced. Of course, the agreement. Mr. Jerome. Look here, who are you? Well, it's quite simple. Have you any idea who murdered Mr. Norman? Yes, it's who? Shut that door. Wait till I close that window. <laughs> Alfred! Get yeah, Doctor, quick! Right. I'll report him. Hurry! What's up now? I heard shot. What? 
Get around in the back, quick. What was that? Mr. Jerome's been shot. Oh, sir. Get the doctor. Yes, sir. Quickly. I'll answer it. Yes. Thank heaven you come, Sergeant. No, what? Jerome's been shot. What? He's in the library. He's over there. Huh? He's gone. What? Unless I'm going mad. Jerome was there. And the rug's gone, too. Did you see anybody, Smith? No, Sergeant. Set the gun. Oh, but he looked much too badly hurt to move himself. Well, someone must have carried him out. Get after them, Smith. Wait. Look. How do you explain this? I don't know yet. Help me to get that onto the sofa. Something's been happening. What? I've been shooting in there. Devil. Yes, Devil. Run around, Oh, good evening, Inspector. What's going on? Going on? I don't know. I'm here. Sir. Inspector. Yes? Jerome's been shot. What? From the garden. Where is it? Uh, somebody came in and took away his body. Just like that. What's she doing here? I don't know. Is she hurt? I think she's fainted. Where the devil were you? I was a bit worried about that man, Greg, and I went round to check up on him. Where is he? He's living at Branksome Garden. I wasn't gone ten minutes. Just long enough, by the look of things. Uh, this is terrible. Where's it all going to end? On the gallows, but someone. Mac, yes, send out a general warrant to all divisional stations of patrol cars. Yes, sir. And put a cordon round the house. Yes, sir. All right, Mr. Saunders. Are you all right? Oh, Belisha, did anyone get the number of that car? Here, here, take it to me. Were you here? Yes, I was. What happened? What happened, I say? I'm shot, sir. My head hurts. I'm sorry, but really, it serves you right. Try and pull yourself together and tell me about it. Perhaps I can help, Inspector. Yes? This young lady, Jerome and I, were talking here. Suddenly, he went to the window. There were two shots. He was hit, and I ran for help. Now, Miss Hayes, tell me, what happened when he went out of the room? I don't know. How do you know? You don't know. You were here, weren't you? Yes. Well? He said, oh. He could speak then? Only just. He was here and bleeding badly. Yeah. Go on. And then, I came over to get him a drink. Yes, that's it. Someone hit me on the head. Who was it? I didn't see it came from behind. Easy. I'm all right. How did you realize you're lucky to be alive? Lucky? Right. I am. What a story. Jack can wait. You've done enough damage with your stories. Oh, uh, then you've seen the Evening Gazette. It uh, looked pretty good, didn't it? Uh, and think of the publicity getting. I don't want publicity. I want the murderer. And I'll help you. If you mean that, stop blurbing a lot of ballyhoo in that rag of yours. Now, Mr. Perrin, where were you this time when you heard the shot? I didn't hear it. Oh. My bedroom's on the front of the house. There's a certain amount of traffic passing. What were you doing there? What are you getting at, Inspector? Do you think I went out by the back door and shot him from the garden? As a matter of fact, I was writing. I was dark you for a moment. That's all arranged, sir. Good. Beg pardon, Sergeant? Well, Smith? No sign of anyone in the garden, sir, but the towpath gate is open. Towpath? How's the tide? Oh, dear high water, sir. Quick, notify the river police. Yes, sir. All right. Inspector. Yes? You think he may have been thrown into the river? It's a thought. But why? Removal of the evidence. I want your help. Tell me exactly what passed between you before Jerome was shot. I was here, too. Oh, yes. Thanks for reminding me. Give me those notes. You can't do that. You're interfering with the liberty of the subject. And you're interfering with the police in the execution of their duty. I've been trying to help. Yes, and it got you a bump on the head. Our ideas about what is helpful are not the same. Go ahead, Mr. Thomas. It was like this. Have you seen Jerome's bag? He came back from Hong Kong on the finesta. If you don't stay out of here, I'll jug you. But what the people say? All right. And tell the river police that if they find Jerome's body, to ring up the station at once. And keep an eye on Greg. What? 27 Branksome Gardens. Oh, oh, don't be disturbed, Miss Arden. Not even you, miss, could do that. After what's happened. Must have run in wild. Going anywhere particular? Aye, to put a stop to it.
That'll be the first bullet, the one that smashed the window. Yeah. What? Do you know that that girl's in the other room? Get this. Sensational development in River House murder mystery. Got that? Right. At 8.30 this evening, we... Here! This is a free country and I've got my living to make. Who have I? If only you tell what you want to do, I'd do it. Any man with a slight intelligence would want someone like me around. Now, what are you doing? Stop there! Oh, you'll be sorry for this. You, you flat foot, you. We're going to all that presently. Hi, uh, Max. Yes, sir. See who that is. <laughs> <laughs> you haggis! Go on, hurry up. Now, if you won't stay gone, you'll stay put. Sorry, oh. Oh, but wait a minute, Max. No. Why no. shouldn't we get the story? You gave it to the Gazette. Because I said no. And I mean no. Look, there is the girl from the Gazette. Oh. Hold it. Oh, stop it. They kept away from you. Well, They've done. Well, 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 well. Oh. What? Has he arrested you? Oh, I can't believe it. Such a nice, spoken young lady. Sorry to the point, you. I'm not the murderer. I'm a victim. A victim? Oh, you. Never mind. It's I want to ask you. Well, I suppose it's all right, Miss. Oh, yes. The inspector and I are just like, um, that. Now, Mrs. Smith, you promise to answer me truthfully? That depends, Miss. I suppose you haven't decided yet whether to arrest us as murderers or regard us as possible victims. Innocent or guilty, you'll get the same protection. Protection? The stretch of fact means death to us as long as it exists. But we need Greg here as well to call it off. I'm making Mr. Greg here in the morning to discuss that. That's all. No, Saunders been here at the time of the shooting. Let him out. Unless he's working with an accomplice. Hold it. Right. Have you found a clue, sir? Looks like a fresh spot of blood. It might have come off the body when he carried it out. According to the girl and Saunders, he was standing here when the shot was fired. Are you going to have it analyzed, sir? Yes. What will it tell you? You never know. And then what? He got into trouble with the police, somewhere in China. And he's not dead. No, miss. After that, Mr. Norman said, as far as this house is concerned, my son is dead. And I told the inspector that... that he was dead. Yes, miss. Oh, perhaps I ought to have. Oh, that's all right. I'll tell the inspector all about it sometime. Thank you. Well, what have you been up to? Oh, just trying to find out something I wanted to know. Really? What do you want to know? How to make marrow jam. Really? I hope you learned. Oh, yes. But I think I prefer it with ginger, don't you? What happens now, dinner? Huh? I'm waiting to be bribed. You know, you'll get in serious trouble for this. I'm in trouble as it is, trying to find a murderer. I'm glad. Why? I don't think I could ever like a man who didn't put a job first. I don't want you to think you like me. It's got nothing to do with you, what I think or like. No, I, I never really noticed you before. Oh, well, I. The police can't uphold the virtue of truth-telling. Who can? No. Well, good night. So I'm not having dinner with you? You are not. Oh, well, I can. You give a girl a bracelet and then refuse to take her out. I'm compromised. Good night. Please. No. Please. No. Please. No. Please. How about one of these? I'd rather it was an oyster. Well, taste it. It's a sausage roll. Do you think it's possible for one in a five to murder the other four and get away with it? Salad? Mix. I must say that... Dressing? No. Yeah. I must say that those two, Helen and Saunders, look very like conspirators, don't they? Go on, butter. No. I think we'd have to look outside the members of the pack for the murderer. Brilliant deduction, eh? Gee. Do you think of your stomach all the time? I was considering yours, too. And two stomachs are better than one. Yes, and two heads are better than one. Mm. You annoy me. What's all the effort I to strangle you for your effort in the Gazette. Oh, that reminds me. I mustn't stay here too long. I've got to get back to the office. You're not going back to the office. You know too much. Oh, really? How about a sweet, huh? Oh, there's a dear little chocolate cake over there. This one? No. This? No. No, the next one. Uh, this one? That's it. Ah. Hope this isn't going to cost you too much. Oh, I can stand it. You know, I'm glad to hear that. The trouble with you reporters, you can't tell a plain story. You've got to exaggerate everything. Our readers come first. They like their new sensational. Yeah, how much? Yeah, there's no place for a girl in a dangerous game like crime. The danger our door. You know, 
I don't think I've ever met a girl quite like you before. Luck's been with you so far. Make a fun, sir? Yes. The manager would like to see you in the office. What for? Hot castle, I've got the biggest scoop of the year. Is it as big as the Globes? The Globes? Well, they haven't got a crime report on the staff worth talking about. Well, they've got a swell photographer. What's that? You haven't seen the Globes' last edition? Mike. What do they want to go and do that for? The boss is going to telephone for you a half a dozen times. He's seen it, of course. And he wouldn't need glasses. <sighs> yes, Mr. Gregory. Well, I just got in. Fallen down on the job and the whole street's laughing at it. But, Mr. Gregory... Oh, that's the end of it. D don't you answer me back. I'm not answering back. You're fired. Fired. Well, it's all in the game. But I know I'm onto something big. I hope you are. And what's more, I'll work on it alone. Well, don't forget you're fired. And while I get it, I'll take it to an editor who appreciates a star reporter. Good luck. It may be a plot between them, but I don't think so. No, I couldn't prove anything. No. Yes. All right. I'll keep in touch with you. Goodbye. Yes, message through from Miggy's Wharf, sir. Huh? I think they found Jerome's body. What makes him think so? Small gunshot on the shoulder. Bring me at River House, tell him to meet me at the mortuary in 15 minutes. Very good, sir. And tell him to bring Saunders and leave two men on duty inside the house. Very good, sir. Hello? Hello, put me through to the start of the river house. Me, gentlemen. Sorry to bring you on such a gruesome errand, Mr. Saunders. One moment and I'll turn on the light. You wait here. Jerome? I'm in store. Yes, look. There's the bullet mark he showed us. And what's it to him? Uh, and we got him right through the chest. All right, Mac. Notify the coroner's officer. I expect we want him the German of the inquest, but I'll let him know. Very good, sir. Oh, Mac. Yes, sir. See that fellow Greg tomorrow morning, nine o'clock, River House. Nine o'clock, sir. Thank you, Mr. Saunders. Tonight. Right. Oh, Mac. Yes, sir. Fetch him yourself. Very good, sir. Nine o'clock. here yet? No, sergeant. Well, I hope he won't be long. I've got a lot to do. Well, Mr. Gregg, we've got our duty to do. Where's that housekeeper? We'll be here in a minute. Ah, I hope your inspector gets his murder. Thanks. He never misses. Open this door! It's Gregg! Down the back, man, open the door! Get him back! Get him back! Get him back! Look out, Bill. Keep these people away. Turn open that door for a moment. Take a look in there. How is he? We don't know, sir. Bring him inside. Yes. Well, who is he? Come on, Winton, give us a break. Now, be good, chap. Don't bother me now. You'll we'll get your story for him. Who 
lock me in. Where's Mr. Perry and Mr. Saunders? You want Mr. Saunders? He's sitting out in bed reading the Globe. And Mr. Perry is half dressed and washing his teeth. Thank you. Mac. I already told him to come yes, down. Yes, sir. Get those two men down at once. Yes, sir. Don't be cross. I've lost my job through you. Well, I suppose you wanted to make quite sure that I'd lose mine, too. How did you get in here? Through the front door. Here's the answer. Neither of you heard the shot, of course. Shot? What do you mean? Yes? He's dead, sir. Dead? That's your friend Greg. This is ghastly. Oh, we know nothing about it. We'll stake our lives. Your lives are already at stake. Take these two men to the station. But surely... You're not arresting us. Let's call it detaining. And stay with them while they get dressed. All right. You're wasting your time by looking for fingerprints. Our man's too clever to leave any. Uh, well, I'd better go and notify you on coroner's office. Yes. Inspector. Yes? I can't stay here another minute. I can't. Honestly, I can't. Oh, awful happens. Is there any place you can go? Yes, sir. My sister. All right, but leave me your address. Yes, sir. Well, now that you're in, you'd better stay in. I'm in. Sir, I'm fair bamboozled. The answer to it all is somewhere in the house. Aye. Here. Not against it, Mac. Yes, sir. Three murders. Do you think the case is getting too big for us, sir? All I know is that Scotland Yard will take over. They couldn't have done any more than we've done. In some ways, Mac. Not as much. They won't see it that way. I'm going to search their bedrooms again. Oh, you won't find anything. Well, have a damn good try. Send that girl in to me. Let me know when those two are ready. Yes, sir. The inspector wants you. So you're ready to listen to me? Now, look here, Miss I found Taylor. something. What? Norman Trump Phillips is alive. Imprisonment for fraud in Hong Kong. Two years ago. That means he's been out of prison six months. More if he behaves himself. Don't you see it? It's clear as daylight. He's the one person in the world who will benefit by destroying those in the pit. Why he inherit all his father's money? Well, you don't seem very surprised about it. Well, I knew it yesterday. What? Yes, I found some letters among the stuff in the safe. I should have confirmation tonight. What are you going to do now? Never mind. I'm going to see this thing through. You can't shut me out now. Sorry, but I must. No. Listen, my dear, you must stay away from this house. You and I know something that puts us both in danger. I'm not afraid. For you? Not for myself, but... Victor, yes? Mr. Perrin and Mr. Saunders are ready in the car. Come on, let's go. Yes, but... This time you go and stay gone. But, Inspector... All right. Outside, please. I don't want the house guard anymore. Withdraw everybody. Have you found a clue, sir? I'll tell you later. Inspector. Hello, haven't you gone yet? I want to get my job done. Won't you please tell me your plans? When it's all over, we'll have dinner together, and then I'll tell you all about it. There'll be no dinner together afterwards, or ever. Winton's got a stiffish job, sir. It's all very well, but this is the third murder in less than 24 hours. I know. And the Home Office is going to raise the devil, if nothing's done about it. Hello? Give me Inspector Winton at once, please. And if necessary, take him off the case and put another man on it. Very good, sir. Winton. Yes? You really believe that we killed our friends? Well, what would you think in my place? Look here. You think... I swear... Leave that. You realize that the murderer has a time limit? Yes, yes, I know. He's got to kill the survivors of the pack before midnight. Then for heaven's sake, let's call off the pack. I'd sooner live poor than die waiting to get rich. If I call off the pack, the motive goes, and with it, my only chance of being the murderer. Do you want that? No. He's killed our... 
you want us to do. I want to send you both back to the river house tonight alone. What? Without police protection? Why oh, see? As a bait to make the murderer come to the house. Exactly. You'd put us into that kind of danger. You won't be entirely unprotected. I'll be there. It's a crazy plan. Do you want to prove your innocence? Not by getting murdered. It's your job to prove we're guilty. Well, I might be able to do that. Oh. Let me, eh? Call it what you like, but I'm going to get the murderer. Well, what about it? I'm with you, Inspector. I'll do it. Thanks. And you? I refuse. What do you like to do? Lock you up. But look here. Winton. Yes? I'm sorry. You were right. After all, we've got to remember that three of our best friends are dead. Yes? I'll do it. Thank you. Hello, give me a Mac. River House, will you? What? Who? Oh, just ask me how Gentlemen. If you'll wait in the other room, I'll tell you in detail what I propose to do tonight. All right. Get the superintendent through. Uh, hello, yes, Winton here. It's the Home Secretary. I've just had the Commissioner in here. He's been telling me I ought to take you off the case. Give me until midnight. If I haven't got my men, then you'll have to ask for my resignation. I say, you know, that sounds rather desperate. I've got everything but the proof. And I'm going to get that. I won't let you down, sir. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, have we heard from Liverpool? Jerome was definitely on board the Finesta. Can we find out if he was travelling alone? Thanks. What? Oh, yes, I'll phone you at once. Come on. Hello? Oh, hello, Mac. Listen, I want you to get this absolutely right. Very important. Uh-huh. And if anybody asks for them, give them that message. Oh, yes, I helped you, sir. I'll be with you at a quarter to twelve. Well, yes, I'll keep in touch, sir. You wait there for me. All right, goodbye, man. Don't worry, Perrins. Winton said he'd be here. We'll be glad to be back, dear see. I suppose we can use the library. Oh, you're free to come and go as you please. Hard time, too. That police station. I'm going to read for a bit. Well, I'll put a dressing gown on and join you later for a drink. You know, that fellow Winton's a fool. He gained nothing by her degreeing us. And the police are no nearer a solution than they were.
Well, good night, Mr. Saunders. I don't expect I'll be bothering you again tonight. What are you doing? That's all right. You? Back! It's Jerome! Give me the arms. Back. Back. I got him. Right, I got him. Give me these handcuffs. Very Quick! Good. Put them on it. Oh, him. No, it's nothing. Jerome. But how could he have done it all? Faked his own murder. Perfect alibi. Almost. Perfect crime. But I saw him in the mortuary. Dead. You saw the body of his accomplice. But the bullet wound on the shoulder. And the tattoo mark. The marks you identified on the body were real, but faked on Jerome. You saw what Jerome wanted you to see. But the man looked like him, too. There was a strong resemblance between them. That's what first gave him the idea. Of course, in order to stage his own murder, he had to have somebody working with him. Yes, the man who fired in the garden. The first bullet through the window and the second in the air. The blood. I saw it. Animal blood. I had it tested. And the men in the mortuary, the compass... Was Norman's son. What? Philip Norman? Yes. But I thought he was dead. Many people did. When did Jerome kill him? Oh, probably on the towpath. After you knocked you on the head. The river was handy. Come on. But he couldn't have hidden in the cupboard all the time. No. I'll show you. You see, this secret door leads down the stairs to a passageway to the river. A lot of these old houses have the same kind of entrance. All ready, sir. Now, Miss Haynes, we... Excuse me. Now, well, we'll solve this. 
Mind you, not without considerable difficulty. Give him Mr. Gregory. Oh, it's urgent. <gasps> ah, I thought so. Well, the case is finished and the store is mine. Yes? There's just one thing that's bothering me. Wait a minute. Yes, yes, Mr. Gregory, please. But how in the world could you have almost turned up to claim the money under the pen when he was supposed to be murdered? But he wouldn't try to. He'd appear in Hong Kong as Norman's son and with his papers and claim the estate as the next of kin. Hello, is that you, Mr. Gregory? Listen, I'm in at the death on the River House murder mystery. Tonight, Philip Winton, famous detective. Pardon me. He's ready to make a statement to your successful crime reporter. Hold on, Mr. Gregory. This is coming straight from the horse's mouth. Ha! Huh, so I'm a horse, am I? There you go, a rotten temper, ready to fly off into a rage without a moment's notice. But it's my temper. I can do what I like with it. Yeah, thinking only of yourself, as usual. And who else? Me. You. Mm. What have you got to do with it? A mere policeman. Ah, oh, I look very handsome in my uniform. What's your uniform got to do with me? Well, I always wear my uniform when I get married. Married? Mm. Yes, it's time I started. High time. And I'm going to marry you. Well, to begin with, anyway. What? Me? Marry you? Oh. All right, then it's off. Ah, that's all you know about it. I'm marrying you tomorrow. Well, I shan't be there. You'd better be. No, I'll change my mind. Oh, shut up. Now listen, my sweet flat foot. You're not going to bully me. Either you and I get married tomorrow, or... 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 Or at the end of the week. Hi. Don't waste it. Oh, darling. <laughs> 